Good morning and Shabbat Shalom. This is Minister Maxon at 9.09 a.m. on 8.12.12. I have just kind of mind-boggling news. I have to, I don't really, haven't processed it all yet. I, I slept in late. Um, but I just want to put this out there and hopefully we can all begin to pray and intercede. I, I'm having an unction in my spirit that something is really, really wrong and that we need to pray. I mean pray. So in my last, in my, in my prophecy, um, Everybody knows where that is. Let, let's just go to that real quick so everything's covered here, covering all bases. I gave a prophecy from 8-9 to 8-12. So out here, we, we still have 15 more hours to go. In this prophecy, um, right here, I'll put a link to it. I put shipwrecked. Everybody see that picture? The, the key part of it, I mean, it's already been fulfilled, but it was about being shipwrecked. That's what uh, Acts 20, see this, Acts 27 and 28? That's what being shipwrecked is about. See how I put warships? But I said, remember this word, shipwreck. Go back and play it again. This is going to be the strangest thing, and I do have video that I'll upload. Uh, it's 9-11 right now, matter of fact, that's another sign, it's 9-1-1, I'm telling you saints, you, as soon as I'm wrong, you can kick me off YouTube, but God is never wrong, and I'm hearing from God, and, you know, I, I was going to make a video last night, and God said no, so, I wake up, and I, I uh, here's, here's the story, uh, I wake up, and I feel like I'm drowning, I literally feel like I'm drowning in water, and I woke up choking. I mean, I physically felt like I was drowning, and I knew the Lord was showing me something. So, of course, you know, I start hearing what's playing on my iPod. It's Genesis 6. I believe I just did a teaching on this. Um, and uh, it's about the, uh, the, the fallen angels coming down to earth. And, the, and I just remember... Uh, he was telling Noah, look, you found grace right here, uh, Genesis 6, 8. It says, uh, Noah found grace in the Lord, and, and I remember it just saying that you need to you need to build an ark. Does that not sound familiar? That, uh, that uh, Watch my last few videos. I mean, they're about how you may be in a storm, but God has built you an ark. And I even show you a picture of the ark. So he's telling them the measurements and all this for this ark. This, this I relate this to the, the rapture. Like, like Jesus Christ, he said, As in the days of Noah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. And that's what Genesis 6 is about, them building this ark. And what was kind of odd, I remember distinctly, like it just happened, that he was saying that bring, you know, seven of the clean animals and two of the non-clean animals. I haven't read this. I just woke up and I want to, put this out. I believe this is an alarm sounding. That may be Genesis 7, but I remember that part clearly. The, the distinction between the clean animals and the non-clean animals. But, um, so I wake up and I look at my uh, uh, clock like I always do and it's exactly, I kid you not, 3.33. It's 3.33 a.m. And, and this time I'm awake. Now I'm not sleeping. And I know that something odd is going on. Um, I have video of that just to prove it. But I know that everybody will believe me. So I go to check Twitter and see like if we're at World War or who knows what else, you know. Um, and we all know about these earthquakes and, and we just pray for these people. I mean, this could be our city, you know. But this is the story I found that I, I had to search for. I'm not seeing it like on the mainstream areas that I... This this is what happened that I saw. It said two minutes ago. You know how t Twitter gives like a time of when something happened. Uh, U.S. Navy, U.S. destroyer, and oil tanker collide. It says uh, not related to combat. 
It's number 89. It says, the U.S. Navy said it's, look at this, guided missile destroyer collided with a Japanese-owned oil tanker in the Strait of Hormuz early Sunday morning, 1 a.m. local time. And, of course, they're not providing any details. It's the USS Porter. Um, so I'll put links to these stories. It's part of the Fifth Fleet. Uh, I, I believe that it's awesome and amazing that God will literally wake us up. You know, but, I mean, this is not, I mean, the, the part is shipwrecked. Remember, though you may feel like you're shipwrecked, but there's always an ark to escape. And then God wakes me up at 3:33, and I feel like I'm drowning, but I'm really not. And he and he's in the scripture playing on my iPad. Out of all the scriptures that have been playing, I have a video on here called about Noah and my vision of this actually happening in uh, in the you know. In, in current times, not back then. It's it's about this as in the days of Noah. So I'm going to put a link to Genesis 6. I'm going to put a link to this story. And then I'm going to read uh, from sec, uh, 2 Corinthians 11 later. But this, you know, today is a watch day. And can I just say that? Today is a watch day. Every day is a watch day. But when we get woken up at 3.33 a.m., and we're sh we're shown that a naval ship has collided in a war area, and we're given a scripture of the ark and God destroying the world, and it's exactly 3:33, and we feel like we're drowning. These are supernatural occurrences, and I believe they have a supernatural um, uh, reason. And it's 9:17 a.m. on. 8, 12, 12, and we're going to have some home church and give God some glory, but I did want to put this out. We love you. God bless you. Talk to you later. Uh, pray. Seriously, above all, pray without ceasing. And uh, if, you, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, He's coming very soon, saints. He's waking people up in the middle of the night. He's giving them prophecies and fulfilling them within three days. Shipwrecked. I don't, I don't know what that meant, but it must have meant something. God bless you.